In this video, we are going to deploy a GitLab instance uh, on a Nutanix platform. So, if you look at the VM list, nothing is already deployed here, and we will use Calm or Automation Solution to deploy a new GitLab instance. I have three applications here. I can choose the first one, an instance in a VM. I click on Launch, provide some information like the name. I can also define what kind of profile I want to deploy, a customized instance for GitLab. Or if I want, uh, I can choose a, a predefined uh, instance with a predefined size, like I do here. So then I can just click on deploy and wait a bit. We will see the workflow of the deployment of the instance done by Calm. And the new name of Calm is Nutanix Self Service. So I can see here the application is provisioning, so it's perfect. It will create one VM. If I click on Manage and on the eye, I can see the workflow of deployment. And I just have to wait that all the small circles become green. If I look at the VM list, my VM is here, so it's perfect. And currently, my Blueprint is deploying the GitLab instance, the software part, on this VM. So here the video is accelerated, and we can see here that the disk setup has been done to create a new disk to host all the data of the VM. And here it's the setup of the application, of the GitLab application. So we can see that everything is done like a update OS, and here uh, it's the deployment of the GitLab application. So I will go back at the main window of Nutanix L service and wait for the end of the deployment of the GitLab instance. So the video is again accelerated here. And now we can see that application is running, so it's perfect. I can check here on the dashboard, and I have here the link to connect on the UI. To get the login and password, I can go back in my deployment log and I have created a dedicated task to display the password so I can copy it here like this and use it to connect on my GitLab instance. I copy my password and sign in and we are in perfect. Now we are looking to deploy a simple runner and connect it to our GitLab sales instance. So here in my project, I can look at the CI CD parameters in the runners list, and we have no runners on this project. Perfect. So I copy the token here and I go back under Calm in my marketplace where I can see here just a runner deployment uh, automated task. So I create a new application with a new name, GitLab Runner Kubecon Project, for example. I give a name to my runner, Nutanix on-prem. I put here the token I have copied from the SaaS instance, and I want to do a runner for Docker. So I select the type, and I click on Deploy. So like for the instance uh, deployment, we will see the workflow of the deployment of this runner. So in create here, I can see the same steps. So the video is accelerated here, but it will create a VM and then deploy the runner um, binaries and then register the runner to the SaaS instance. So if I look here, my application is now running. If I refresh my page, on the GitLab SaaS um, instance, I can go back in the runners and I see my runner here deployed and connected to my application. 